Hi, this is Orlando from NidaStudio.com. Today I want to show you guys how to create a um, fade out transition effect in Flash CS 5.5. One of the followers of the NidaStudio.com, he left a message or comment telling me if I can just uh, create this effect in Flash CS 5. So let me just read what he says. Well, his name is Jeffrey and he said, can you do a tutorial on how to do a fade transition effect in Adobe Flash CS5? Thanks. Well, I want to show you how to create a Flash CS5.5, the latest version of Adobe. I'm very excited using this for the first time. Well, the bad part, it's not my computer. It's my friends and application as well, of course. So I was just wondering when to get my upgrade version. So anyway, so let me show you guys the final result. Let me just minimize this. And let me just go control N to test the movie. Here we got the uh, slideshow. If you just wait for five seconds and it jumps to the second image where we have the next image and the effects well. So let me just close and when I start, let me just go file, new. Action script 3. I want to set the uh, stage of 1000 by 400. 30 frames per second. The background color we don't take care about because we're just covered with image. So let me just go to the library. We have no image yet. So let me just import to the library. Go import. Import to the library. Here I got my three images. Let me just select all of them and just press open. And let me just drag the first to the stage, go properties, exposition zero, white position to zero. And also we want to convert this to move clip. So just hit F8 to convert to move clip. And when you just give it one, hit OK. Then, and also we want to give our uh, instance name one underscore MC. And go to second frame, insert a blank keyframe, go insert timeline instead of blank keyframe or the shortcuts F7 go library drag the second image to the stage go properties X position to zero Y position to zero and also convert to movie clip and give a number two and instant name as well two underscore MC and go third frame insert the blank keyframe go library Drag the last image to the stage. Go properties, exposition zero, white to zero. Convert to movie clip. I'm gonna give three. And also we wanna give a uh, instant name as three underscore MC. Hit OK. And we wanna add a new blank keyframe F7. And also we wanna add a new layer to the timeline. We wanna call actions. And this we're gonna call content. So if we go at the first frame, we go Windows Actions. I already have the uh, code, so I just wanna paste in. But you can just pause the video and copy the code. Or simple, just go to my blog. The project will be available on CS3, CS4, CS5, and CS5.5. So just copy and paste so here we got the stop at the first frame because we want to stop at the first frame and also we're importing a flash transition twin and the also transition is in and here we got the, the variable and we have one twin twin equal new twin between the parents we have the uh, content that we name it one mc this is the uh, effect we have regular and here we got start from zero to one and the duration is three. And here we got another variable, this next image bar, next image timer equal new timer. And here between the parentheses we have the time we have that we want to stage the image. So we have five seconds. Well, if you want six seconds, so just type 6,000. If eight, so it would be 8,000. So, and here we're giving two seconds of the difference of the effect because we are giving three seconds for the effect. So, and also we're giving two of the difference for the image stays static 
and then jumps to the second image. And here we got the next image add event listener timer event dot timer comma play next close parenthesis semicolon. And here we got the next image start add non frame by the function says function play next open parenthesis event event close parenthesis void and between the brackets we have next frame non frame between parentheses this is well this is the uh, code for the first frame it's a simple and few lines let me just close this and go to the four frame go window actions and also I just want to copy the code let me just paste it here we got the next image stop so we want to stop the last image as soon as it stops at the last image we want to reset it so when we reset just want to go and stop at the first frame where we have the first image and then keeps like cycling every five seconds automatically so let me that's the code so let me just close this and test the movie here we go just wait for five seconds and jumps to the second image here we go let me just close because we don't have the we don't see the effect so let me just um, go to the uh, second frame insert a one keyframe same third set of one keyframe and also we're going just at the first frame window actions and want to just copy this um, code close it and go to the second frame window actions and just want to paste it and here we're going to just rename it to to underscore mc as well and we want to leave the same start at zero to one duration three seconds and close the same thing we go to the third frame windows actions and we want to paste the same code and just change to three and three the rest leave the same so we want to test the movie control and test the movie and see how it looks so here we go our last show every five seconds jumps to the second image and the effects well but we want to just do a couple change so let me just go to content add a new layer and just drag underneath the uh, content one insert a blank keyframe at the first frame we want to just drag the last image that we have and the second content last frame so we want to go properties X position zero, Y position zero, and also we will go to second frame and and here we will just drop off the uh, first image that we have and the content at first frame. Go properties zero, zero, and the last one we just want to drag the the second image that we have at the second frame of the content. Same thing, X position zero. Web position zero, and let me just test the the movie. Yep, nice. We have this uh, slideshow with the fade out transition and flash CS 5.5. So just wait for five seconds, jumps to the next image, and also just appears the and disappears the other image. Well, this is the short tutorial for today. Hope you guys enjoy it. As I said at the beginning, just go to my blog, download the project, it will be available for Flash CS3, CS4, CS5, and the CS5.5. So just leave me comments, any questions, message, so I will be happily answering the uh, comments or message. And also you can follow me on Facebook or Twitter, or simply just uh, subscribe on YouTube and be expecting the next tutorials. Thanks so much. See you next time.